Hi everyone, this is Nancy and I'm going to show you how to fold a handkerchief bunny. You can obviously do this with a piece of lightweight material. It needs to be, for our purposes on this post, it needs to be about 12, no bigger than 14 inches wide. We're using a very small egg for this. Um, and it has a special poem that goes with it and it's a gold egg and if you want more information on it just look down underneath at the bottom of the of this YouTube video and we'll have a link to the actual complete post on how to do it. Now for our bunny you take your 12 inch square handkerchief or piece of material you turn it over and you fold it crossways so it makes a triangle. And again, it's important that it's lightweight, otherwise you're going to have a really hard time. Now you're going to turn it and you're going to roll it from the point, this point, and try to roll it as snugly as you can, and as evenly as you can. Just going to roll it, make sure that it stays snug all the way out to the edges. Just keep rolling. And when you get out to the very end here, finish rolling it up, and there you've got your handkerchief tube. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to fold it right in half. And you'll never guess what these part are. It's going to be the bunny ears. Now, you're going to make sure that this part here is on top. You're going to pinch it two-thirds of the way down. Then you're going to take these top part that's going to be the ears. They're not going to be that long. But to make the knot, you need to pinch it. And then you're going to wrap this around that finger. And it's going to make a hole where you're going to push these ears down through. Again, that's why this fabric has to be really thin. So you're going to make that hole, and then you're going to push these ears through with your thumb, or um, sometimes it can help to even take a pencil, and if you can't do it easily, and gently push those ears up through. you got to be careful, though, because as you can see, that caught my other material there, and I didn't want it to do that. So try and do it without using anything else if you can. So there's my ears. Now... I'm going to tug on them. Now you don't want to pull really hard at this stage because now you've got to make sure that this hole is the right size to fit the egg. This particular craft we're doing, we're doing for small eggs. If you want to um, see the entire post just look below in the info below the YouTube video and there's a link to the full post because this is a post about a golden egg and it has a poem that goes with it that's free to to download and print out and give these as a gift so it's really awesome so what you're gonna do is you're gonna now start adjusting now you can have little bitty squirty ears like that if you want I want mine a little bit longer than that so let me show you the egg that we're using is these because they're perfect as these Ferrero eggs I believe is how you pronounce that and these are perfect because not only are they the right size but they're gold you can use mini plastic eggs those are a little over an inch and a half long but they still you can adjust these a little bit and you can spray paint those gold and put things in them if you're doing the craft that we're doing. Um, you can buy other candy eggs that are about the size and wrap them in gold foil if you can find gold foil. There's a variety of ways to, to do it. And if you're not doing the, the exact post that we're doing with the, with the special poem, um, you can, of course, just stick regular eggs in here. They don't have to be a certain color. So as you can see, this guy fits in here. It'll fit either this way and it'll fit longer long ways if you want it to. So I'm going to start tugging his ears a little more because and that one's a little shorter so let's you can actually have a lot of leeway to adjust this little guy. 
So I'm going to do that. And these are just, I learned to make these as a kid. I bet a lot of you older folks may have done that too. They're just cute as can be. And there's your little bunny hanky. Hanky bunny. Bunny hanky, hanky bunny. You could even set possibly a larger egg in there. And they can be used for a variety of purposes. But like I said, we've got um, free printable over on our site that has the niftiest poem. you got to go over there even just to read the poem that goes with it to give these as gifts. And they're so simple and so inexpensive, especially if you, if you use just material, which, you know, 12 inches of material and a bag of these wonderful gifts. So there's your hanky bunny. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Bye.